what happened next is really revealing of what Buddhism is all about. The Buddha went and sat under a tree in the near the town of Gaia and sat down to meditate. And this was the day and night of the Buddha's enlightenment that's celebrated by Buddhists all over the world as a yearly anniversary and is the kind of uh, seminal moment of the Buddhist tradition. At that time, the night of his awakening, he didn't sit down and have uh, some kind of totally perfect ecstatic meditation from the beginning. Like most people, when they first sit to meditate, when he sat down, the legends of the Buddha's life tell us a story of all kinds of distractions and temptations and uh, possible uh, like self-deceptions and tricks of the mind and mental poisons and moods. And these are all known as the Maras, these kinds of demons of distraction came up and came up one after another and after another. And the Buddha's awakening, his enlightenment, was this, this state that emerged when he was able to remain seated and present and fully aware while all that stuff came up without distraction, without retracting or getting lost or caught up, but instead, he maintained this kind of lucid presence, lucid awareness that all of that garbage moved through, that it arose, all the garbage and beauty that it arose and then dissolved in, and that he was able to stay in this kind of wakeful presence there. And that was the meditation uh, that led to the Buddha's full awakening. So... I think in some way that's really the essence of Buddhism because it is a encapsulation of what the meditation practice and all those years previous had been about. It wasn't leaving the world behind or getting rid of all of these things, but instead discovering the wakefulness, that presence and this kind of lucidity that Buddhism is named for. Buddhism, Buddha means awakening, awake. And it's that awake state uh, that the Buddha attained. And it wasn't something that he attained through yogic feats or supernatural powers or cutting off from the world. But instead, it was the discovery of a kind of natural state of intrinsic awakening, a kind of basic goodness of what it is to be human. And in some of the legends, they say that he even had a memory of having been in that state before as a child while being in a field, that there was just this natural clarity and a kind of wakeful connection with that moment and with the world. And he saw that that was what he had been looking for. <laughs> 